Doughboy ain't pressed me about Y'all can't get these, man. It's, it's children's proof. And it's, it's proof. You feel? You just gonna keep talking, huh? You just gonna keep talking. Hey, what's up? This your boy Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Sada Baby and Doe Boy. Now, Sada Baby and Doe Boy, man, they've been back at it again. Now, I did a video about these two beefing, I want to say like three, maybe four months ago, but it seems like things had simmered down. I thought they were cool after that. I thought there was an understanding between them, but it couldn't be farther from the truth, man. These two got a long-standing beef, and I don't think it's going away anywhere. Because Sada Baby took the social media and called Dobie out, excuse me, Doughboy out. And Doughboy responded numerous times, man, with some scathing diss. So before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, man. So Sada Baby was on his live, and... He said, forget it, man. Somebody posted something about Doughboy, and I think he believed it was Doughboy. Now, for those of you who don't know, let me go ahead and give some introduction, man. Maybe you're new to these cats, man. Sada Baby is a Detroit rapper who's gained a lot of success on being very, I want to say like, uh, what is it, intrinsic? Like, he's an interesting character to say the least, man. And him being an interesting character in hip hop has done nothing but pro propel his career in the rap game, man. He sat on many big platforms. I'm talking about dude has some smash hits out there. And Detroit has this nice little resurgence in the rap game, right? Then you got Doughboy. Doughboy is a Cleveland, Ohio rapper who's got some nice affiliations in the game with Future. Like he's one of Future's artists. And dude really, really is nice on the mic, man. It seems like every time he comes up with a concept about a hit song, somebody else comes up with the same exact concept about the hit song, man, like Yasersky. To be honest, when he came out with the song Yasersky, he was like the first person before 21 Savage and them even dropped their song or Lil Pump dropped his song. Doughboy is just waiting, patiently waiting for his time to explode in the game, and I hate to quote 50 Cent lyrics, but that seems like what it is, man. A lot of people who mess with Doughboy know what he's about, and dude is a legit MC in this game, right? Now, for some reason, him and Sada Baby cannot get along. You would think with them both being from the Midwest and having that together, you would think they would be cool, man, like they would have some type of relationship, but that could be furthest from the truth. Now, they've had a beef that's been long going between them, right? And it kind of went to, to, uh, to, came to a head a couple months back, but then it cooled off, man. But for some reason, Sada Baby thought it was necessary. And I think, I'll, I'll give you why I think is, this is the reason. When him and Doughboy got into it a couple of months back, there were a lot of rumors after that floating around talking about Doughboy ran down on Sada Baby and caught him slipping at a hotel one time. And everybody was running with that rumor. That rumor is all over the place. Everybody believes that Doughboy and his homeboys and the cats from Free Bands ran down on Sada Baby. Now, Free Bands is Future's label. Doughboy's with them. You know, you can check any of his old interviews. You'll understand the relationship there. Just because he's not from ATL doesn't mean he's not down with Future. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's a it's a national rap game. You know what I mean? Or shoot, it's an international rap game at this point. But it, that rumor caught legs, man, and it was going all over the place. So, Sada Baby probably felt the need to respond anytime somebody brings up Doughboy's name. So, he was on his live and he said this right here. Let me go ahead and play the clip. Doughboy ain't pressed me about <laughs> Now, get your dumb <laughs> on my laugh on a fake page. Now, after that, it was evident that Doughboy did see that, and he saw that Sada Baby had called him out, and he went to social media just to explain about what went down, now, or what he believes is the situation. So he jumped out there with this post first. Now, the first thing Doughboy did was he reposted that video 
on his page. Now, that might seem like a clout chasing move, but he says that, you know, basically, Sada Baby has him blocked. So he posted, reposted the video with this caption right here, and it said, this weirdo still got my name in his mouth. Now I'm finna expose him and give him the attention he want. I would have added you, but I'm blocked, Sada Baby. Just letting it be known that he reposted it because he's blocked on his page, or else he would have added him and jumped right in there and got on his live with him and that would have been interesting to say the least. Now, he followed that up with this post right here. I'm going to improvise a little bit, but Doughboy says this, and you can tell it's a shot directly at Sada Baby. And he says this. He said, if you let fans provoke you to keep speaking on stuff you should have been left alone, then you are goofy with the clown emoji, big clown emoji. Basically saying that if you could let these fans hype you up to talk about stuff that you should have been left alone and you should have been any part of, then you were goofy in his eyes. Now he followed this up with another post as well. Now uh, Doughboy took to social media to post a video as well and he said this. You just gonna keep talking, huh? You just gonna keep talking on well. You know what I know. And you gonna keep talking. All right, bet. Now, in that poster, that video, you can see that Doughboy is still holding on to say some secret or something that he's got over side of Baby's head. Now, to be honest, at this point, I'm wondering what it is. Because the last time they got into it, he was like, man, I got some, some dirt on you, doggy type thing. And he was like, basically, I got something that I can tell the, to, the, the, to the public that'll tarnish your image. That's what he keeps making it seem like. But Doughboy has yet to expose whatever he's got on Sada Baby, but Sada Baby doesn't seem like there's an issue or he's even worried about it because he stayed dissing Doughboy and he just blocked him on social media. Now, blocking somebody else on social media is almost a sign that you don't want to deal with him and you want to put it into it. But when he engaged on live, it kind of brought it back into the fold. You know what I'm saying? Now, Doughboy finally posted this post just a couple of minutes ago, and it said this. Now, in this final post, Doughboy basically is giving uh, Sada Baby a salute, and he says, fix your at button, Sada Baby, and let it be known that, hey, man, add me back on and don't block me so we can holler about this issue that we got. Now, this is interesting, man, because Sada Baby is really doing his thing out in this rap game, man. He's got a good following. He's, get, he's booking shows. He's interesting. He's an interesting character. Like he does, you know, kind of interesting stuff, man, just to say the least. I don't want to put a, any type of word on it other than, you know, interesting because some people might take more than a little bit from that. But definitely he's carved his way in this rap game. That's why he can link up with anybody he can get on a. He, he's diverse in the rap game. I like the fact that he can get on a song with like a, a Pac Man and he can get on a song with a Fredo Bang. And, you know, he could talk to the streets. He could talk to the geeks. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It doesn't matter with him. Now, what's cool about Sada Baby is he usually keeps a level head and an interesting perspective. But this time, he jumped out the window and dissed Doughboy. And Doughboy had no chance to but to respond. You know what I'm saying? He had to respond. But what do you guys think, man? Do you think this is just another senseless hip-hop beef and these two need to shake hands and make up or just go their separate ways? Or do you believe there's a deeper issue or something that Doughboy has over Sada Baby's head that he's just waiting and anticipating to drop on us? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.